the season of Beards, Bourbon, Whiskey Podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW. Of course, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. I got a special treat for y'all tonight, dog. I got my man Monk Money in the building. Uh-huh. <laughs> got my man Bo holding it down. I see. Angry Principal for show is in the building. What's up? Got my man 2G's on the couch. <laughs> Dude on couch. <laughs> So we back for episode one of season four, man. We got a treat for you. Now, last season we did uh, we did things under twenty. So now we doing thirty for thirty. All right, we doing less than thirty dollars, more than twenty though. And we tried to pick some of our favorites, right? Now uh, this time I actually went to the uh, to the liquor store and I found this joint, uh, Big House, uh, which is what I brought to the show today. Uh, I've never had it, so. I think uh, this is going to be new for all of us, I believe. Uh, it is a, an offshoot of the Sazerac, uh, no, am I, yeah, did I say, yeah, Sazerac uh, company and shit, so um, it's going to be interesting, so we're going to try that, so we're going to get to that first. Um, that's about it, so shit, let's bust into it then, let's just get to it. Bust it out. So, of course, we got we to gotta listen, we gotta listen for the, the cork. There it is. And we're going to try this, uh, this big house. Yeah, for sure. We all heard that sound before. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, my, my money is about to be lit Woo! because y'all can't see him on camera, but he actually was just drinking something else. Like it was Gatorade. And he had to drink it real fast <laughs> in order to make room for the big house. Like he just came out for a quick time out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what made him do that. <laughs> All right, let's go get right to it, man. And if you've, uh, if you've been checking us out through all of the previous seasons, then you got to know that I am the Whiskey Convert. Uh, Bo is the whiskey schnob, and my man Angry Principal, he is the proof hunter. All right, so uh, we gonna start with here. Obviously, we go see what the nose is like. Hmm. <laughs> said, hmm. It's definitely definitely stronger than a Canadian whiskey. <laughs> I was just uh, um, just having. I mean, no. Before I say what I smell, I want to see what it's reminiscent of. It's not a, it's not as sweet as uh, Buffalo Trace. I can tell by the scent. But I smell fruit. I smell fruit or caramel, something. Yeah, it's definitely fruit, and it's like apples. Apples, I think. Man, look, I'm gonna tell y'all what it smell like off rip though. It kind of smell like the uh, the moonshine, the rye, the moonshine and rye, the Tim uh, Tim Smith. Definitely get that charred, uh, that charred oaky taste. At uh, the end, some, yeah. yeah, got some apples in it. And uh, Monk mentioned caramel. I definitely taste that caramel. Yeah. yeah. I taste it more than I smell it though. It don't, really, taste. It don't really give me that hug or that pinch or that weird. You want to call it at the end though? No, no. You no, know, it's just kind of subtle. Yeah, the shit for me. The shit is for me because I'm a subtle ass. <laughs> 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 I'm a subtle. My buddy stands for him. Because right. y'all like that bite. Y'all want to get that. Yeah, yeah. I, I want something. Yeah, I want yeah, that. Yeah. What, what Martin it, used to do? Like, yeah. yeah. It, it's got a, it's got a bite though. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a bite. It's it, a small bite. Now, not like some of the other stuff we've yeah. been drinking, but definitely yeah, it's like got that a bite. You have your shit pushed in. I ain't coming out y'all, nigga. I'm straight. This is fine for me. <laughs> so, so the proof hunter, man, what you got to say about it? So I can taste the caramel. I can't smell the caramel. Right, exactly. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. You smell the fruit. You but smell like the fruit. On the, end, the end, the finish is like a leather. Uh, I didn't even leather. Uh, it's, yeah. it's got like a. <laughs> Let like, me see. Like you just went and taste. started chewing on your belt, just uh, for no damn reason. <laughs> I definitely, yeah, I, I definitely taste that that that, that charred flavor. Uh-huh. Kind of maybe, yeah, maybe maybe a leathery type. Somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere in there. Yeah. Somebody dropped the belt in the back. <laughs> so. Somebody dropped the belt. In the back. <laughs> right. It sounded like somebody was uh drinking uh Stetson cologne. Do you remember Stetson cologne? <laughs> <laughs> My great granddaddy. Get a Kmart and shit, the gift set for twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> no, y'all go fish. That commercial, I should go buy men. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, not bad. Uh, like I said, the big house, this is my first time trying it. I've never had any of the Cesarac or the Cesarac, uh rye. Okay. And I heard that was pretty good, so I, I've never actually had that. Um, but this is an offshoot of that company, so um, it's decent. I, I like it. It's, it's definitely, uh, it's not bad. Um, the like the 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 taste of it is not it's not overwhelming. Um, it's a lot more flavor than we were just off camera. We were drinking uh what's that caribou uh, crossing. Yeah. It's a lot more flavor than that. So, um, but not a lot of bite at the end. So it, like like you said, I think for the most part, 
if you're a novice or someone who's just kind of switching over, um, this is probably a you know a good a good look for you. Very and subtle. I, at the end, we'll we'll compare it to all three. We'll see. You know really nice with a cigar though. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna about say. to say that. You know, it's real, yeah, real nice and uh, and smooth, yeah. smooth, yes, with that cigar for sure. Like that right. real, that easy kind of mellow yeah. taste feel, yeah. It's that crumble, that crumble do something to it. You know, what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I, I mean, I, I smelled it off rip. Fruit. I didn't really get no taste of too much fruit. It's Mom, more, it's more of a smell than it is a taste. Yeah. Mom, let me ask you this then: What do you think about this as compared to like Duce? Um, I compare it. Good I mean, they, it's a great comparison, actually. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like Duce because it's, you don't have that much that, that what y'all call it, hug? That hug at the end. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. hug at the end. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's similar to Duce to me, bro. Yeah. And there's no hug on this. And no hug on this. Mm -hmm. No hug on this. No. Big house. See, he's no just hug. a proof hunter, so he gonna automatically be like, if it ain't no hug, he don't want it. Because yeah, if, if, if it ain't over a hundred, he ain't even. Yeah. <laughs> he looking for that bitch. Yeah. I'm like, don't touch me. Sometimes I want that bird, and other times I'm like, woo. Right. Don't touch I don't know. Me. I don't want no hugs. <laughs> six, feet. six feet. But you're not in the big house. Uh, right, you're not in the big house. Right, you definitely don't want no hugs at the big yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so me, I'm a, I'm smoking a, a Fat Bottom Betty, which is a, a sweeter cigar. So for me, um, the off the offset not really good. You know what I'm saying? Like because I think the cigar is too sweet. Uh, I think when you got a sweeter cigar, you definitely got to have something with more bite to offset it. So I think this is not a good combination with with a sweeter cigar. Um, but with a with a more you know uh, a more smokier it's cigar is probably it's fantastic. Cigar I'm smoking, yeah. it's, it's flavorful to the mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, and that's because I think the sweet is overpowering it, low key though. Yeah, so that's why. Flavorful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, flavorful. Hey, what, what's the word we be saying? Uh, bursting with flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Symphony of flavors. Symphony of flavors. That's what it was. All right. Right now. Let's uh, let's move to the next one. So we, do we want to go to uh, yeah? Let's go to Bo. We uh, grab the one that yeah, you let's, had. Let's, let's keep the, the high we keep the wild turkey in yeah. for the so proof we, hunter. We drink it more. Yeah, yeah. That's what y'all doing here, huh? <laughs> hey, yeah. For so sure. I, I picked up this I W Harper right here. Uh, this is all good. As y'all can see it, this little I W Harper. Um, I got put up on that a long time ago when I was in the army and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's definitely in my heavy rotation. Uh, not quite up there with Buffalo Trace, but but definitely up there, man. Uh, okay. It's gonna run anywhere from like twenty eight to about thirty bucks. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what I forgot. Yeah, so the the big house uh, was twenty four. It was twenty four ninety nine. Okay, okay. One thing about the IW though, um, there the single barrel is mm -hmm. it, it's expensive. It's gonna run you about eighty or ninety. Cool. But the single barrel, fire. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Upper room. <laughs> Fire. Damn. Damn. The last one was fired yeah. up. Yeah. I think this has been sitting on the shelf for a long time. <laughs> Let me do it this time. Actually, <laughs> he said he poured <laughs> too much. <laughs> he said, "Let me do it myself, cuz." So, so, when I bought this bottle, <laughs> I was over on That's the. Uh, You've been drinking before. <laughs> <laughs> I bought this bottle over on the uh, the south side of Ipsy, Ypsilanti, right? And uh, the dude brings it off the shelf. I'm like, "Let me get that I.W. Harper right there." He goes, "Who?" And I go, the I.W. Harper right there, yeah. right? So then uh, uh, he gets up on the ladder. I'm like, one over, two over. He's like, oh, oh, right here. So he brings it down, and he gets a little dust thing. And, and like, like <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody <laughs> bought that shit. Because the shit been sitting up there forever. Right. You know I mean? it's, probably, it's probably more potent in that way. It's, if it's sitting, it's aged. <laughs> I mean, once really it gets in the it, barrel. Yeah, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. I don't smell nothing but alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I get a little bit, maybe a little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla. I smell. I smell it. I taste vanilla. I taste it. I didn't smell it. Yeah. Definitely the vanilla. Okay. Definitely mm -hmm. taste it. Taste the vanilla for sure. I think you're right. This is comparable to uh, Buffalo Trace. It's not as strong. Not as strong, but like... It doesn't have that quite sting, but it's yeah. along those lines a little bit. The flavor. It's a little bit more mellow. Yeah. I, know, I know what he's going to say. Yeah, it's, it's, a, oh, it's a mellow... It, yeah, yeah, it's a mellow yeah. version it's of Buffalo Trace. It's a little bit flavor, a little more flavorful than some of my other like go-to bourbons. Mm -hmm. it, it's got but more... not as strong. As it's got more flavor than the Big House, too, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's got like more flavor. I'm smelling it some kind of flower though. or something. You know how like, you walk past the florist or something? Yeah, some type of floral. Yeah, I'm getting that. Violets. Yeah, violets. <laughs> I don't know nothing about what they smell like. 
It's good though. Mm -hmm. It's 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 like it's like almost it's almost Buffalo Trace. It's like Buffalo Trace. Buffalo White. <laughs> Buffalo Trace. <laughs> what, what you say last week was it RC Cola? Oh, like RC, RC Cola, <laughs> dog. Not RC quite, no. not quite for real Coke. But, but yeah, it would be like yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, but so just looking at where we uh, uh this is a Tennessee whiskey. Oh, okay. This is a Tennessee. Okay, it says K Kentucky straight bourbon. But bottled in Tennessee. Bottled, bottled in Tennessee, yeah. so it mm -hmm. must be sourced. Okay. Yeah. So it's sourced. Um, you think that make a difference? It can. Yeah. It can. But I mean, uh, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. It. it I guess it really depends. And y'all, let me know if y'all agree or disagree. But I guess it really depends on the crowd, right? You know, yeah. like. If you got those proof hunters, you know what I mean. Yeah, right. like, like, like principle, principle, yeah. Yeah, the taste might be okay, but I, yeah. yeah. No For me, sometimes I'm not necessarily a proof hunter, or you know, it depends on my mood, right? Yeah. You know, if I'm feeling I'm the mellow mood, I want something mellow, right? Right. If I'm if, if I'm kind of, I don't want to I don't want to say get lit, but you know, <laughs> if I want to have a little a little fun, I might want something a little stronger than that, obviously, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. You know. Or if I'm, you know, smoking a nice cigar, I want something a little stronger, maybe. Yeah, that's just sure. me though. Right. I well, think it doesn't do much for the cigar. Not no, for me. No, no, yeah. no, not not like the like the so, big house. And see, yeah, big house did better big job. House did better job. And see, that's the thing. Like with this one, uh, because of those caramel notes, like it's working perfect with this sweeter cigar. So this worked for me. Like mm -hmm. this, this is a great combination. So if you got a if you got a sweeter cigar like a uh, like a fat bottom Betty. Uh, or uh, you know maybe an acid, um, then I think it's a it's a good offset for this because it is it's not quite as strong as Buffalo Trace, but the caramel notes are just enough to make a sweeter cigar kind of you know stand out. So I do like it. No, we, um, we may have gone on an order because Big House is ninety proof, and IAW Harper is eighty two proof. Yeah. Oh, so we went out. Of, uh, well, we may have gone on, but I mean that may be the reason it tastes a little off. Yeah, that is true. Hey, I hadn't even thought about that. All right, so now we get to get to a uh, proof hunter. This is the 101. Now, wild turkey 101, I've actually had before, so, so we're going I can't really the, remember. We're going, we're going to the old man whiskey. I'm going right. too fast. That's what y'all hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm going fast. Damn. Over here, sound like Ha Ha Davis. Yeah. <laughs> like, hold on, big fella. Hold on, big fella. <laughs> You got to take that 22nd. <laughs> yeah, 22nd. Right. Right. And your principal couldn't yeah, wait to get into this. He couldn't wait to get into that. Right. 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 Classic, classic. Um, I got it for twenty five. Okay. Uh, it's one hundred one proof, but you know this is like one of those. If you if you're trying to get your bar together, if you and you want a bourbon that everyone's gonna drink, it's a blue blood. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Wild Turkey one on one is the one to go with. Like I said, the I don't know other episodes we talked about how Wild Turkey felt like that was some old man drink. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Those old men know how to drink, so <laughs> sure. let's follow what they've been doing for all these years. So before before we go into it though, like how how different? Because I know we had rare breed on here before. Like how different is it from the rare breed? Uh, about fifteen proof points. Okay, so it's just yeah. it's stronger. Uh, rare breed is much it's stronger. stronger. Yeah, uh, I think rare breed has some different flavors on it okay. than the one on one does because I know with one on one you kind of uh, blending several barrels together, whereas the rare breed I believe is a uh, Single barrel. Okay. I think I have to go back and look at the bottom. We got an empty one up there. Right, over your right shoe. Yep. yep. Boom. Uh, yeah, it's a barrel proof, so it's coming mm -hmm. out. Yeah, it's coming out of strength. Nothing, they're not uh, doing anything to it, so that's the big difference. But yeah, one on one has a classic profile that everyone tries to go with. All right, let's see what we're talking about here. Hey, I'm a fan. You know, I've had it before. It's definitely got a little hug at the end, that's for sure. Yeah. I mean, oh for sure. Classic vanilla cherry. Oh for cherry. sure. Yeah. The it vanilla is, cherry off the off the yeah. rip. You can you can actually smell it's a mixture of vanilla like almost a, a cherry coat. Remember the cherry vanilla cokes and shit? That's kinda the, the scent that come off at the beginning. I mean off rip I taste the fucking vanilla. Yeah. 
But it do. This is by far got got bite at the end. Oh yeah. Ooh. Compared compared to all three, oh, obviously. That hug you've been looking for. <laughs> 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 right. Let that one on one show you some love. That bear hug right there, boy. <laughs> that hug, that yeah, hug. BBW hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight. Ain't nothing bro. like a BBW hug. Leave me, me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Go for yourself. Shit. All right. So look, hmm. my money. It's your first time being on the show, bro. Yes, sir. So out of the three that we just went through right now, I know you said that the big house was probably closest to do say, yep. but uh, just being a cognac drinker and like kind of being introduced to whiskey, mm-hmm. what which one would you prefer? Big house all day. Yeah, mm-hmm. because it's closer to it's closer that. to what I already drink. You know I got what you. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I mean, um, the wild turkey, flavorful is a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. It is. It it's is flavorful. I mean, I'm taking. I, I'm 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 so confused. Like I taste. <laughs> Vanilla, it's a lot of flavors. It's a lot of shit going on. A symphony of flavors. Complex. Complex, yes. That bitch just got that hug you've been looking for. Mm. Right? <laughs> that bitch hugging me. I took a, a smidgen. Hey. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, hey, it's still in your chest, right? Yeah, yeah it's still in your chest. warm in my shit. No, that's a real shit, though. Like, it is literally still in my chest, yeah, though, right now. Yeah, 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 it's still in my I'm out of this smoke. It goes really well with my cigar. Yeah, Extremely well. And I think with. Any cigar, whether it be a sweeter cigar or mm-hmm. not, you're gonna get the like, nice. I would have that bottle one. right there for at least a year, because I would take a sip and just keep it moving, <laughs> keep, 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 right right keep it moving, yeah. bro. And you know what? And this is one of the things, like I, I mentioned uh, on the uh, last episode of our last season. Um, this is something I want you to keep note of too, like how you just had that wild turkey 101. And let's say in a, a few months we come back to it, I bet you would think differently. Cause like a lot of times when you come back to it, you realize like the shit wasn't that bad. Once you didn't have other things, mm-hmm. cause like that's the whole thing that I had when uh, we did the show uh, last week uh, with uh, uh, shit Wolf of Reserve and Buffalo Trace. I had had Wolf of Reserve like maybe a year or two ago, and I I, I thought I hated it, and then <laughs> I had it the other day and realized like it tastes fucking just like Buffalo Trace. So this whole time I thought I hated it. It's something that I fucking like. So like when you go back to it, you you know you'll be pleasantly surprised. Right. But um, uh, let me let me ask y'all this though. Cause I'm not actually saying it's bad. It's just strong. It's just strong. Yeah. I don't think any of them are no, bad. That don't bad. No, that's not bad. No, it just really depends on like what mood you're in, what you, your, your taste is. Yeah. You know, you want to smoke a cigar, you don't. You know what I mean? That's, so I, I think it's just options for different. You know, different yeah. moves really. Right, right. Because I think uh, the wild turkey is about like you know you smoke it. Your old girl says she wants some sex and shit. She start hitting the wild turkey and shit. Dog. Get the man the blood to move. You know what I'm saying? Get the man the blood. Got some wild turkey sex. Yeah, some wild turkey sex. That should get the blood moving. You feel me? Shit. All right, so let me ask y'all this, though, because I think we've all had an experience. This is just something I want to make the comparison to. We've all had the experience of Uncle Nearest. Uh, In comparison to Uncle Nearest, which one of these would you uh, would you have alongside? Of? I gotta say this, man. Right, so so mm-hmm. Uncle Nearest is not a bourbon, all right. True, um, that's true too. So looking at it that way, so that's a tough comparison. Yeah, I think it's a yeah, tough comparison, okay, right? you, you might be right. Now, just off the strength of like, I want some good like dark shit to drink. Yeah, this compared to Uncle Nearest, you know, I'm still probably gonna go with Uncle Nearest, even yeah. though I'm, I'm a bourbon guy. Yeah. <sighs> Something about that, that, that Uncle Nearest yeah. whiskey, man. Yeah. You know, I don't know what it is, but it's that a it's that caramel, bro. bro. Steaks, bro. Mm-hmm. To my crib, and we drank Uncle Nearest mm-hmm. right after the steaks. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, bro, it's like it was like a symphony going on in my body. <laughs> he like, said his body, bro, his like, body, right? The whole symphony, bro, just from the steaks, from the motherfucking Uncle Nearest, mm-hmm. like shit, like. That's some good eating and drinking right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was. Steak, right? Uncle Nearest, man. And then low key, he made he made uh, Uncle Nearest zip sauce. Shit was yeah, fire. She was fire. She was fire. Uh, I must find out how you did I, that. I got it. Yeah, you got to tell me. <laughs> hey, saying, yeah. we, we, we will be posting. Video. We'll be posting footage later. So Uncle Nearest, take note to that. Turkey like. <laughs> 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 hey, dude, dude on the couch. Just <laughs> on the couch. He came off the couch. He was looking for that hug too. He want to be touched. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this, this has been a dope episode, bro. Like, for real. I'm, I'm super excited. So, we, we going to do it like this on the. Go ahead. Oh, I just want to say that I, I W Harper. Mm-hmm. I want to try your single barrel that you were talking about. I don't think I would buy this version, mm-hmm. but the single barrel you saying is that good. I may try that. I like the flavors, just not strong enough. You need a higher proof. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I want it a little stronger. 
Yeah. And then, uh, so I may, may look for the single barrel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More so yeah. Than I, getting that one. Single barrel is definitely stronger than you know that their, their, their regular uh, 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 bourbon here, you know. But um, the thing, the biggest difference I noticed between the this regular is IW Harper and the single barrel IW Harper mm -hmm. is number one, yeah, the strength. But also like single barrel had really, really, really strong vanilla notes, mm -hmm. and, and I, like I immediately remember that. I remember when I poured it, I popped popped the cork and I poured it, and I remember that's like. Vanilla straight Ooh, to your yeah, straight vanilla, yeah. you know what I mean? And then I took a taste. It was like, ooh, okay, yeah. 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 And I was like, damn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a little yeah. bourbon burn, a little yeah. bourbon burn yeah. and shit. Yeah. Shit, wild turkey just made me want to go home and gobble gobble on my girl. That's what it is. That shit strong. That shit immediately <laughs> got me. That nigga like said gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. gobble, gobble, gobble. gobble, gobble. Oh, I love that motherfucker. She, no. she should buy me a bottle of that. <laughs> hey, so, so, so real, real quick though, dude, dude on couch. Dude on couch. What do you think about Wild Turkey One on One, bro? Wild Turkey most definitely is nice. I like Wild Turkey. For sure, that's what's and that's a tequila drinker. There you go. So yeah, yeah. So it's that's all, it's always what do you different. Like that shit called. Uh, Nejo. 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 Yeah, Nejo. yeah. This is definitely a, <laughs> right, definitely a tequila <laughs> drinker. Though. All right, so we gonna go around one time, dog, and I'm just gonna uh, let y'all put them in order from uh, you know, you know, your least likely to purchase again. And what would be your next go to? So out of three, like basically uh name them from three to one. Um Bo, we'll start with you and shit. What what you say, bro? Um For me, when I drink IW, like like I said earlier, I'm in a mellow mood, right? So with that being said, I probably wouldn't buy a big house. I would buy IW Harper instead of Big House. Okay. Um but definitely Wild Turkey and, and IW Harper, those are two sta staples, you know, okay. in, in my bourbon library. So they always yeah. gonna be there. Okay. Uh, Big House, I can't necessarily say I buy it again, mm -hmm. but I, I didn't dislike it. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. All right, I guess. I might keep a bottle around just like something different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. But uh, I would definitely buy Wild Turkey and IW Harper again for sure. Big House, maybe. Okay, I got you. Monk Money, what you say, bro? I'm the other way around. Right. <laughs> I figured. I want the big house and the wild turkey because I want to gobble gobble sometimes. Right? So, <laughs> get me the move to gobble gobble. But in the big house, is like like I said, the big house is like almost like do say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it's there. You know it's there. Yeah, but it's but just subtle it, enough. And that's exactly why I asked you that because yeah, I thought yeah. it was similar too. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like mm -hmm. you know it's there, but. It's like a saying? smooth it's, ass cognac. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Yeah. I dig that. But it's subtle as shit. Yeah, I can dig that. Angry principal, man. What you say, bro? I don't think I'm buying Big House again because there are other uh, whiskeys out there that I would use instead mm -hmm. of, in that of that. At that price in point. That same, especially at that price point, especially yeah. when I'm mixing stuff. Mm -hmm. like that, I don't think I'd do that again. I.W. Harper, I don't think I would buy again only because I think I want the single barrel just mm -hmm. because of the more complexity that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Wild well, Turkey 101 is in the rotation. So right. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, already there. It's, it's, it's already there. Yeah. You know, and and all, uh, most of the Wild Turkey stuff yeah. is in my rotation. So yeah. I'm good. I will say, let me, let me add on. I will say this. Uh, the Big House and the IW Harper, right? So, mm -hmm. like, if I was looking to make, if I was mixing things, you know, old-fashioned or just bourbon and, you know, water or lemonade or whatever it may be, uh, I, I probably would definitely buy the Big House, you know, or the IW Harper if I was going to mix something. I was right? going to say, just thinking about that, though, I think with that one, if I'm mixing it, I probably wouldn't use a big house only because like the flavor just ain't profound enough. You know what I'm saying? Like it might get wiped out by the lemonade and shit. Yeah, I, 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 yeah maybe. Yeah, but see, I, I, I just feel like because night, it's but I made a mistake last night with one of my lower proof bourbons, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize I still had a little bit of lemonade in the cup yeah. and uh, in the glass, and so. I added my, my bourbon in there, mm -hmm. and I threw a couple bitters in there thinking, I'm going to go make me an old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. I sipped that and was totally shocked mm -hmm. at how good that was. It was mm -hmm. just lemonade, bourbon, yeah, yeah. and a couple so, splashes of your bitters, and I was straight. And even so, though it was like a lightweight. Was really, it was a poor man's uh, old-fashioned. It was really, really yeah. good. You so, bring up a, 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 a great good. point, right? So I, I want to talk about bitters real quick, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think people... The, the larger, like, uh, uh, bourbon audience as a whole, I guess, I think they'd be sleeping on bitters. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, bitters can, that can definitely add some some experiences to your your, your, your drinking, you know, uh, 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 consumption or whatever, yeah. you know, yeah. That's... I, only had, bitters, you know, I only had bitters, like, man. at a bar. You know what I'm saying? For like, sure. Yeah. Cause just because a motherfucker offered to me, like, man, you, you should try it with this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. And, it, it and then there's basic. different flavors of bitters and stuff yeah, like right. that, too. So, so yeah. my, the two flavors of bitters that I have are one is lemon 
and the other is grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I had I dumped some grapefruit bitters mm-hmm. in this, and I with some lemonade, with some lemonade oh, and the that bourbon. Sounds, I, stop I, playing, say, bro. That shit was fire. So fire. I was <laughs> going back to that, that tonight. Shit sound it was good. That good. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? I got the simple syrup and everything. I I got the different versions of simple syrup sitting in the refrigerator, ready to go. I didn't even touch it mm-hmm. because the lemonade sweetened it up. And then had the uh, bitters go with it, and it was fire. You know what? We should do an old fashioned show next next uh, next week. Yeah, hey, I'm, sure. I'm gonna make the simple syrup. There, there you there I'll you go. It. Teamwork. I bring, bring what I make. Okay. Okay. Have to do that. Teamwork make the dream work, dog. Yeah, that's what we gonna do. We gonna do old fashioned because I have no idea how to make one, but I do enjoy consuming them. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm very particular about my old fashions. Though. I'll probably yeah. be on season uh, episode two. <laughs> 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 that's right. I might be on when I go two. to a bar and I order old fashioned. I know the bartenders hate me, right? He's because I'm like, hey, bro, it. this is what I want in my old fashioned. Like, this yeah. is this is how I need it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just don't like them to go. Like, no, let me tell you how to make this shit. So I know them niggas be hating, <laughs> right? So when I order that shit, like, I know I got a tip them well because, like, I'm like no, 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 yep, no, yep, <laughs> more that, yep, okay, <laughs> cool, fire, yep. yep, right? Because you want it how you want it. Yeah, you know what exactly, I'm saying? exactly. So on that note, dog, we go. Uh, That's we go. to pay forty five hundred dollars. Dog, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you want to make your shit at home. Yeah. You definitely want to make your shit at home, dog. That's why COVID has been great for my bartending skills. Oh, man. Exactly. I've been able to Learn how to do everything. Horrible, guess what? I got to drink it. Hell so, yeah. Man, I'm not anybody else? I didn't pay any money other than what I already got at my house. So and I still got drunk. So. Said, and, and maybe this is a whole different show. I don't know. And if it What's is, up? man, you can cut us off and we can save it for a different show. What's up? But what's like the best shit you experimented with? You know what I mean? Like, you had some, you got some IW or Wild Turkey, your Buffalo Trace, then you got this, then you got that, and you got time. You feel like getting drunk. What's the best shit you put together? Well, that's, that's oh, just a, a, a concoction. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I what? never did. I did it with vodka. Hold on, wait. I, I done put some shit together. Wait, what? Am, what about when we was fucking around with by accident? Uh, after the steaks, we put fucking no. Uh, this is the weirdest shit ever, dog. Put a pineapple in that motherfucker, dog. Put a pineapple in the Uncle Nears. Like, dog, so I'm, think, good, I'm thinking that the pineapple is going to fuck it up. The flavor of it. So, no, it sounds good. So I'm, I'm clowning him. I'm like, dog, I ain't put no fucking pineapple in that shit. This so he's like, dog, you can't taste So I put it in there, soaked it in there, and you honestly, it does not change the taste. Hey. But then once you get and down to that. the ladies. Pineapple. Right? Yeah. But then you get down to that pineapple. pineapple? And you so eat that delicious. pineapple with soap in that on the nears. <laughs> so delicious. So so that infused, yeah, fruit, infused fruit, fruit, dog. So that right there, I think I think we share that. Mm-hmm. That that's the the thing that I experimented with it and fucking loved it. Like he was drop so a, against it the first I, dog. I was I was so against it. Like a fucking I, I, pineapple. I, said, I understand that though, right? Why you, no? Don't put no. That shit is good the way it is. Thank it you. Is. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Know and I, mean? I said that yeah. exact thing, and but. That shit was fire. So, so thank you for that. No problem. It changed the flavor. No problem. Yeah. And it changed the flavor one bit. I'm going to try that shit. At all, dog. But then once you get down to that pineapple, fire. Maybe that's another show. You know, we put together some shit. Yeah. So that that was was my one and shit. So uh, what's yours? Man, um, I don't don't know if it's one that really stand out. Like, I just randomly try shit sometime. Um. Like, I had some Wellers, and uh, I think I had some lemon bitters, a little bit of lemonade, and then uh, um, I had, uh, what did I have? Uh, what kind of simple syrup was that? I forget what it was. Anyway, I put all that shit together, and like, it was, it was dope. It was like a strong ass, like like a, uh, I don't want to say Mike's Hard Lemonade. It went sweet <laughs> like that. <laughs> but it had the lemonade taste. Yeah, you lemonade know, taste. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You can taste the lemon. For sure, yeah. Not too much sugar. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I dig that. Proof Hunter. What you say, bro? So, it's. Two experiments. One, okay. I took two types of bourbon. I took, I think it was a wild turkey, mm-hmm. and then I had some of the Traverse City uh, cherry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mixed those together see, oh, with uh, the old fashioned ingredients, yeah. and that turned out that turned out really, really well. Because that, that cherry is definitely a mixer. Oh man, that yeah. was a definitely mixer. If you definitely just buy it to drink by itself, I, I'm gonna tell Don't you now, it. you're gonna hate it. And you're talking but, about somebody who drinks salted caramel, and I ain't gonna right. like that shit. So, but yeah. if you using it to mix and drinks, that uh, Traverse City cherry, that's the way to go. The second thing is I discovered gin. Discovery. Oh, discovery. Now, oh. I, I have, I left gin alone a long time ago. You and many folks. A long time ago. <laughs> but <laughs> what I did was, right. I, I, it, this was a, I spent a little money on the gin. Mm-hmm. I actually bought it for the house for a, a function. What kind of gin was it? Um, this would have been the, I want to say Valentine. Okay. Valentine, okay. Valentine Distillery here in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Yep. They I'm have familiar. a gin. Yep. Yeah. And then um, there was another one. Oh, uh. 
two James. Two James, yep. And, uh, and two James. So mm-hmm. I've, I've tried both of their gins, and they're both uh, local Detroit mm-hmm. uh, distilleries. So just trying different gins that are not your bumpy face or your Tangeray, <laughs> that's something I did mm-hmm. discover. And I did that Rest with my... Rest in peace to Tangeray. Right. And you remember Definitely. you remember the, the drink DR? The, yes. Uh, peach Knopf Lemonade, Vodka, and, yeah. and that was the drink. Well, putting that with gin, it was ridiculously Fabulous. good. So Damn, that's what's that was up. some of the things I, I experimented with. That's so about gin. the only that's about the only thing, only way I would drink gin again. Oh, this Cohiba is good. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know what the fuck you gave me, but this shit is Cohiba. It is it's a delicious. Cohiba too. <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. Especially once you hit that liquor with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um twenty thirteen too. So yeah. it got seven years on it. Yeah, it's been aged pretty well. <laughs> it's delicious, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't never had a cigar and I'm smoking this constant. You smoking that moment? <laughs> yeah, like a Newport. Yeah, like a Newport. I ain't even fired up a Newport. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. Yeah, I don't, right? Thank God. As, 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 as we smoke big ass cigars, and shit. Thank God you ain't smoking the square. Yeah. Um, so real quick on, on that note, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wrap it up and then we gonna get up out of here. Um, but for me, I think it's the uh, like big house for me is like it's it's just good enough. I I don't think that is enough flavor in it. So, like, if I'm just chilling and I got, like, if I got a house full of people over and shit and they don't really drink bourbon, but that's what I got, I would I would give them that. Give them that. Yeah, I would give them that because they'd they be cool with it. It's going to be close enough to other things and shit, and it, it'll be, it, it, it be a transition. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. It's like a you, come to, you come to my house mm-hmm. and you're not like, my circle, circle, Yeah, you, you probably going to get, like, crown. Yeah. You know? Right. My good shit, mm-mm. Yeah, so so the big house shit that'd be for be locked away. <laughs> that'd be for that'd be for company. Uh the IW Harper I think is uh closer to uh Buffalo Trey, so of course I'ma like that a lot more. The one on one, for me, the one on one is good. Probably out of the three, I think the one on one is the best. However, after you had rare breed, like it's I that's what I would prefer. Rare, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I would rare prefer is definitely um, and it's a lot stronger. Mm-hmm. Um, but like again, the flavor is more a thing. So like for me, even though I'm a whiskey convert, um, I'm not necessarily a proof hunter, but I do love the flavor. So if the flavor just happens to come with higher proof, then that's just what it is. Yeah, sure. But as long as it tastes like something, I'm good. And that's what kind of pissed me off about. It. It's not on the show, but the uh, Caribou Crossing. I um, it just was it was super light. Like it just wasn't enough flavor to it. So I kind of mm-hmm. didn't like that. That wasn't on the show. Maybe we do it on another show though. Um, but yeah, shit, that's been fun, dog. Yeah, for sure. 30 for 30, dog. Your, uh, our best bets under $30, dog. So you get to see uh, Big House, Wild Turkey 101, and I.W. Harper, dog. Uh, if you've had those experiences, make sure that you do drop those into the comment box. Or if there's any uh, whiskeys or bourbons that you would like to see on an upcoming episode, make sure you drop that in there as well. And don't forget, man, we're getting ready to do our uh, happy hour. And if you are a patron of our Patreon page, you'll be able to actually uh, pull up this video on demand. But right now, we're going to go live with it. So if you get privy to that information, you get to see it. But once we're done with it, it's going to get erased. And then you have to be a patron in order to see it. So make sure you hit that link in the uh, comment box right now. And you can become a patron of our Patreon right this moment. Dog. So uh, that's it. This has been episode one of season four. You know what I'm saying? Not four. He said four. Season four. <laughs> <laughs> hit up that Patreon link. Though. Hit up that like, Patreon like, link for sure. 15, 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can even do five if you want. Yeah, <laughs> like, you can even do five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Put, yeah, you for on sure. to some, put you on to a couple of bourbons and whatnot. We for sure. You. And have a little fun with it, man. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, to the next time, man, you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW. That's Beards, Bourbon, Whiskey. They I got, do. I, got <laughs> I got, I got dude on the couch. Oh, no. <laughs> got my man Monk Money holding it down. Yes, sir. My man Bo in the building. I say. Angry Principal holding it down. Drink what you like, when you like. For sure, right. man. And then it's your boy, Q Lewis, holding it down live from the 48205, man. Peace out, y'all.